Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, I got a short episode for you today. As y'all know, I recently got a 2024 Tesla Model 3 Performance. And for a month, I had FSD subscription. And a few days ago, I tested this little area with FSD, and today I'm gonna test it with the regular autopilot. And we're gonna see if it can make it through these S curves. So coming up to this first pair of railroad tracks, I wanted to activate autopilot, but you can't activate it until you get a good pair of lines on the road. So right here, I was able to activate autopilot. Okay. So I got the car on autopilot now. It is definitely unsure. So the car just wasn't as fluid on autopilot as it was with FSD. The steering wheel was kind of jerky and it wasn't giving me as much confidence as it was with FSD. Definitely not as smooth here. All right, so we're about to turn and hit it from the other direction. One of the things with FSD versus autopilot is you can't activate autopilot unless there's clear lines on the road. See, right now, I cannot activate autopilot. There's two little tiny lines here. Oh, I got it. Okay, and the speed limit is 25, so we'll try to speed this up. It is definitely not very sure about this. Oh, slammed on the brakes. Oh my goodness, that was horrible. We almost came to a complete stop there. And we're driving across the road. Wow. <laughs> that was pretty bad compared to what this car did in FSD the other day. So it's still kind of swerving all over the road here. So we will get up here to these railroad tracks. See, right now I cannot activate autopilot because there's no lines on the road. After this first set of railroad tracks, there is a short stint of lines. So we will try to activate it and give it one more go through this little S-bend up here. All right, here's the line. Okay, we got lines now. Here we go. Activated. I got my hand close to the wheel, but I'm not really gonna hold it. It's like, hey, this is kind of crazy. It made the turn, but it was very iffy. There is a truck coming. We need to, oh, wow. That was scary. <laughs> uh, there is a big difference between FSD capability and autopilot capability. We're headed back towards the gauntlet now. I will activate autopilot the first chance I can. So I have other attempts on this little stint here. I don't know what we're gonna call it. We call it the gauntlet or what, but that sounds pretty good. It's just this quick little very aggressive S curve. Let's see if we get the brakes like we did last time right here. Okay, didn't get the brakes this time. It's uh, crossing the center line like it did last time. Still driving on the complete wrong side of the road. I'm gonna take over because there's somebody coming. Yeah, that was pretty bad. So now you can see we're using FSD Supervised. This was filmed in the first week of October. We're using 2024.27.25 software. And you can just see here how much more fluid it is. The steering wheel isn't jerking around. It is very confidently going around this S-bend. When it goes over the railroad tracks, it very quickly turns the wheel to stay in the proper lane. Smooth as butter. FSD for the win here. One thing that's immediately noticeable, I'm able to activate FSD pretty much no matter what. There's like, there's no lines on this road, but it's activating for me. And it does slow way down. Like it's set for 25, 
and we're doing 17 right now but this is pretty natural I mean you wouldn't want to do 25 through this S curve So it had no problem at all going either direction. You can just see here how much smoother FSD is than autopilot. I just think it's baffling to be running two completely different sets of software on the same car. Like, I understand you want people to pay for FSD. I just don't understand the nerfing autopilot part. Okay, so we are activated on FSD now. You can see it is going slow to go over this first railroad crossing because it is kind of a, a hump. Wow, did you see it jerk the steering wheel for just a second? That was pretty intense. All right. It doesn't seem to have any problems going through this S-curve now, and it slows way down to go around this last little bend, and there you have it. We made it nice and smooth. A lot more smooth than before. I hope this little short video was entertaining to watch of the difference between FSD capabilities and autopilot capabilities on a difficult s-curve in a road without any lane markings thanks for watching and i will see y'all in the next one the reason i'm testing this is because this is a place where the autopilot even struggles i'm going to see what happens in the ford in this same situation here so let's turn around and go try it i'm going to set the cruise Oop. there we go set it at 25 and the Ford system is weird because you can't turn on auto steer. It kind of just decides if it wants to do it. And it didn't do it. So I'm still steering. Nope. That was all me. Let's see what happens here if it wants to turn on. Nope, still not turning on at all. You can see that is grayed out, so it is not actively trying to steer. When it becomes active, it'll be a bigger blue circle. There it is. It's trying to steer, so I'm going to let go here, and let's watch what happens. Oh my gosh! Oh, it was going to drive straight into that curb and not even try to turn. Y'all. <laughs> Oh man, we'll try to do it one more time. Okay, it's attempting it. Sharp turn and we lose the line, oh my goodness. I had to take over, it wasn't even going to try to make that turn. <laughs> It was going straight for the curb. Ford Copilot is active. It is not trying to steer yet. Still not. Nope. It is not even going to try going this direction. All right, so there you have it. That was two fails with the Ford Copilot 360 lane centering. Now remember, this stuff is made for highways with uh, good lane markings. So this is just a, a torture test. Isn't really supposed to be able to do this. We're just seeing what it's capable of on the fringe areas. So let's go hop in the Tesla and give it a try. Okay, so here we are in the Tesla now we're going to try to do the same section of road on autopilot and see if it can do any better it, it's actually a very challenging piece of road sharp curves and almost non-existent lines here we go i still can't activate autopilot 
have to wait until there's lines on the road. There we go. Oh. All right, autopilot is active. This is where the Ford drove straight into the wall. Autopilot is turning, doing a pretty decent job. Autopilot is doing everything, sharp turn. All right, it made it. Can you believe that? Autopilot made it through that complete mess of road. Let's turn around and do it the other direction now. And activated. Sharp turn. Oh, it did it. It kind of gave me a warning beep saying, uh-oh, but it still did it. Look, my hands are not on the wheel. It's saying put your hands on the wheel, but it is still driving. Editor Crazy Postman here from the present day. I have to say this 2019 Tesla in 2022 looks like it performs this S-curve better on autopilot than the 2024 Tesla. That is weird to me that there's been no improvement on autopilot. Look at that. That is very good technical engineering. The car knew exactly what to do. The Ford was just gonna drive straight to the curb and it was gonna just be happy doing it. <laughs> Co-pilot's not as horrible as I make it seem. Just remember, it's not really supposed to do what I just tried to do. It's made for the highways. But even on the highway, it's still not as refined as autopilot. It kind of searches more, a lot more small adjustments, kind of ping-ponging around a little bit. But, you know, Ford is uh, new at this self-driving game, and Tesla's been doing it for quite a while. So I'll give them a, a few more years to perfect it. But thanks for watching this little quickie, and I will see y'all later.